Welcome back to another episode of Vanessa's Crazy Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make my recipe for baked zucchini sticks. They're super simple and super easy to make, so let me tell you what you'll need before we get started. Okay, so you'll need a few zucchinis, some grated Romano or grated Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, a couple of eggs, both the egg whites and egg yolks, some Italian breadcrumbs, and a cookie sheet lined with some parchment paper. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your eggs and salt and pepper, and you're going to beat these together until each is fully incorporated. Okay, so we're going to set these aside, and then you're going to take your Italian breadcrumbs and your grated cheese and just mix these together until you can't see the cheese anymore, until it's not visible. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside as well. And then using our knife, you're going to take each of your zucchinis and cut them into about three inch long sticks. So obviously cut off the ends. And then you wanna keep the skin on, but make sure they're washed. So I just cut down the middle just like this, cut it in half. And then I cut it in half this way, and then cut it in half this way. Okay, so at this point you should have your oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And now what you're going to do is take each individual zucchini stick, and first dip it in the egg mixture and you can use your utensil to guide you. So fully coat in the egg mixture and then you're going to coat it in your breadcrumb mixture. And then after you're done with that, you're going to place it on your cookie sheet and do that to all of our zucchini sticks. Okay, so I've finished coating all of my zucchini sticks. As you can see, it makes quite a few. Three zucchinis makes a lot of zucchini sticks. So right now you're going to bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown and crispy on the outside and then it's time for the taste test. Okay, so our zucchini sticks have finished baking and they're nice and crispy on the top and slightly golden brown. So I'm gonna go in for this one. Stuck to. There we go. Just let it. I let them cool for a couple of minutes. They're really good, and so much better than any fried food. So much better to bake things, and it's a vegetable, so it's somewhat healthy. <laughs> It's really good and nice and crispy. And you can get the recipe on my website, which I will leave a link to down below in the description box. So make sure you get it, you print it, and you make them because they are so incredibly simple and you might already have these ingredients around your house. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and watching me make it. So make sure you visit my website and don't be afraid to get crazy in the kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye.